it might be a good time to take a big leap. Hello and welcome to Pillars of Wealth Creation, where we talk about creating financial success with a special focus on business and real estate. I'm your host, Todd Dexheimer. Now, let's get to it. Well, welcome back to Pillars of Wealth Creation. I'm your host, Todd Dexheimer. Excited to have you here. Appreciate you joining me. Uh, today, we're going to just talk about what does it mean to uh, to take risks, to play it safe, and you know which one's best, of course. So we all kind of know that, I think. But uh, when should we play it safe, and when should we take risks? And so I think that's the important part. Different times of your life, uh, you should be looking at uh, you know taking more risks. Uh, different times of your life, you should probably be looking at playing it safe, and also. Uh, even different circumstances, right? Uh, it's not necessarily that we want to be risky in all circumstances. We don't want to play it safe in all circumstances. So first of all, you know, talking about a point in time of your life, I mean, obviously when you're young, uh, easy, well, take as many risks as you can. Like just keep, put yourself out there, right? Put yourself out there. Uh, take smart risks, right? Uh, don't risk your life, <laughs> uh, but we'll be smart about it. Think about what you're doing, uh, but you when you're young, you can recover quickly. Um, when you're young, it just doesn't, it, it just doesn't hurt bad, right? If you got no kids, if you, if you, especially if you're not married, I mean, it's, it's easy to take, you know, pretty sizable risks uh, and, and recover quickly if you make mistakes and you're going to make mistakes and that's okay. Um, but you're always going to make mistakes when you take risks. The big thing is to learn from those mistakes. And of course, the thing is to not only learning from them, uh, learning from those mistakes, mistakes after you make them, but try to do things, try to set yourself up to not make mistakes in the first place. So when we're talking risks, it doesn't mean we're going out there and uh, we're jumping out of airplane without a parachute, right? We're not jumping out of airplane even with a parachute without instructions first. Uh, and we're certainly not jumping out of an airplane uh, with a pair with or without a parachute at you know thousand feet above the ground when we've never done this before because by the time you figure out how to pull that cord it's too late and you're splatting against the ground right same type of thing goes with uh, investments or you know any kind of business that you want to start up or uh, relationships right if you go at these and and think that hey somebody told me to take risks when i'm young and you go crazy about them and you don't think about what you're doing you're just going to have poor results and you're not going to learn anything either because it's just going to crush you and you're going to be uh gun shy right you're, you're not going to want to go do it again uh so when you're thinking about the risks and this goes in any time of your life but you want to be prepared right you want to uh it's it's the saying ready fire aim uh, we want to get ready. We want to really prepare ourselves. We want to learn, we want to take courses. We want to, you know, find a mentor, that type of stuff. And you do want to aim, but you can't sit there and hold it for too long, right? You can't be uh, sitting there and going, okay, okay, I, I got I to gotta make sure I'm perfect at everything. And that's the one big thing I've seen from people, young, old, uh, everywhere in between, is that, you know, they will sit there and overanalyze and continue to think about doing something. They continue to want to do something. Perfect example. There's a young guy, great guy, uh, and I've known him for quite some time here. And he has, has taken so many courses. He has hired mentors. He has done uh, everything that you are told to do to get yourself prepared. Uh, he's aimed, he's aimed, he's aimed, but he's never pulled the trigger. And he just doesn't take the risk. And and that's a perfect example of being too cautious, right? Not stepping outside of your comfort zone. It's not going to get you where you want to go. So we have different times of life to, uh, or different times of life that, that we want to, you know, maybe be more aggressive. You have, you know, kids, uh, a family. Maybe it's time to pull back a little bit. We don't necessarily need to completely stop stepping outside of our comfort zone. We don't need to completely play it safe, but certainly you might want to play it a little more safe than when um, you were younger. And, and I think that's that's definitely a wise decision. Maybe your kids are out of the house again and, uh, and you're older now. 
but not too old, right? So maybe you're in your fifties or, you know, have time that you could recover. That might, especially if you haven't taken big risks and you're like, Hey, I'm ready. I'm ready to, to do something great. Right. I'm ready to make a big impact. I want to, I want to do something in this world. Well, it might be a good time to take a big leap, like make up the, those big, take those big risks because the kids are grown up. You don't have to worry about paying for them. And, um, your responsibilities are different again, and you still have time to recover. Uh, it might take a while. It might suck if you do lose it. So it might be a little bit different risk than you took when you were 22. Uh, but still you're willing to go, Hey, you know, I've got, I've got, uh, you know, a million dollars in in the bank, two million, five million, whatever it is. And I'm going to take a portion of that. I'm going to take a nice size portion of that. And I'm going to invest it. I'm going to do things with it. I'm going to start a business, uh, you know, whatever it might be. And I'm going to take some risks with that. And I'm again, I'm going to get educated and I'm going to be ready and uh, I'm going to take action. And and that's okay. Of course, have if you're older, if you're 50, if you're 60, you still want to keep some some safety net. Um, but you can still take nice size risk at that age. You know, of course, then it's your very oldest years, uh, your twilight years. Uh, it's probably when you want to chill out on the risk taking, or maybe you've got so much uh, play money, or it doesn't really matter. And you're like, hey, I've done really well in my life. I've got so much more money than I need. Now I'm going to take some big risks. Uh, again, or continue to take any big risk. And uh, that's okay too, I guess, uh, if you've got that play money, if you've been good about it. But I think the only reason why you would have that extra money, play money, is if you did take some some risks out there in life and you did risk money. And here's the deal. You're going to lose sometimes. You just are. That That's a given. If you're going to play the game and you're going to play it long enough and you're going to take risks, you're going to lose. The goal is to win much more often than you lose, right? The goal is to get educated and place smart bets, right? Place smart investments by businesses that you know you have enough knowledge in and have the right people surrounding you that there's a very good chance you can be successful. That's the risk that you want to take. So, Again, we're not talking about jumping onto the airplane without the parachute. We're talking about going in, getting the lessons, figuring out how to do it, you know, learning, uh, having a mentor, and then you know, jump with somebody, right? Pull the parachute with somebody, have the backup, and land hopefully safely. There's still risk, right? There's still risk that things could go wrong. But we've planned and we've set ourselves up for success in order for that not to, to be um, a bad thing. So go out there, take action, take action, be bold. Look, the world changes and improves and becomes better by bold people that take action. We don't come up with new inventions. We don't come up with new ideas because everybody plays it safe. And in fact, we would be further along. We would be better as a society if more people took risks, educated risks, and learned and said, hey, I want to do this. And they actually take that action. I guarantee you there's been ideas and inventions and things that we know today, that we utilize today, that could have been available to people 10, 20, 50, maybe even 100 years before they became available. And the only reason they're not available, and, and quite frankly, it's a snowball effect, right? Because maybe you come up with an idea that somebody that we want, and you say, I don't, uh, you know, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm just too scared to do it. Or you just, you brush it aside, right? Well, if you would have done it that day, it would have been available for people to use. And then, Somebody else would have taken your idea and improved upon it or used your idea, your invention to then create a new invention right? that your invention helped create and it can snowball very quickly. So if we're not taking risks, if we're not coming up with new ideas, if we're not thinking outside of our comfort zone and really being bold, then we're not bettering society, right? We're not improving 
not only your life, but other people's lives, your your children's lives, your great-grandchildren's lives, your great-great-grandchildren's lives, and many more to come. So think about it that way. Let's be bold. Let's take action. Let's take risk. It's going to burn us sometimes. It just is. But that's okay. Get up, dust yourself off, learn from your mistakes, and go and do it again. Hey, thanks so much for listening. I appreciate you being a loyal listener. Say, I would love to have you go on to our Facebook page and subscribe. Uh, give us a thumbs up. Go on to iTunes or wherever you listen and give us a rating and review. Don't forget to subscribe. But your rating and review just helps us push this out to more and more people and continue to grow our audience and hopefully positively affect a ton of people out there that really need this and, and want this. So uh, the other thing I've got for you is a free ebook on my website. So go on to VentureDProperties.com, VentureDProperties.com and download our free ebook uh, on real estate and on syndication. And I've got some data points in there, some really good stuff for you. So I'd love to have you take a look at that. It's free. I'm not expecting anything from it. Uh, and, and also, look, if you want some help in multifamily, want some help learning, growing, getting your business off the ground, I would love to talk to you about what it would look like uh, to work with me potentially and see if that's a good fit. So you can go up to coachwithdex.com and check that out and uh, we can definitely have a, uh, a call. Thanks a lot for listening. You make it a fantastic rest of the day. I'll catch you on the next episode.